Why is Jagan Mohan Reddy versus Chandra Babu Naidu battle heats up in Andhra Pradesh once again? Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Jagan Mohan Reddy has launched a scathing attack against CDP Chief, saying that there was ample evidence for the conviction of Naidu, who is the prime accused in the AP State Skill Development Corporation. Jagan speaking also took a veil jab at Pawan Kalyan's Jansena party for aligning themselves with the TDP, which he called a corrupt party. Jagan's remarks comes the day after Naidu's son Nara Lokesh slammed YSRCP government saying that they were filing false cases out of frustration, saying that there was no evidence of money trail against his father, Chandra Babu Naidu. Naidu would decide whether the TDP-JSP alliance will join with BJP to fight the assembly polls next year. One fake agreement in the system, Saksha to Chandrababe Pakana Petinchina Shivariki A company A Siemens company Makumudu and the Dabayaka Kota Rupa, Dabu Mutale, the name Agreement to Maki Alanti Saman the Moon, lay the name Likita Purukanda, Ichina, Chepina Saksha to Kem the Prabutta Dariap to Sanstal Rasta Prabutta Dariap to Sanstal Kadu Kem the Prabutta Dariap to Sanstal Inko Karemo Nerga Jelik Villi Mulakatu Milakat Jeskuni Postu Petukuni Award Inko Karu. Yesterday you have met Nara Chandra Babu Naidu sir inside the prison in Rajamandri. So what was his situation there? There had been concerns about his health, about his security. So what did he tell? What did you speak and how did you feel at that moment? I mean Mr. Naidu is virtually an optimist. So he was full of energy. He told us to continue our fight against this uh, psycho government and we will continue to do that. Saying that I mean Mr. Naidu in his political journey uh, as a chief minister for almost a decade and a half, as leader of opposition for a decade and a half, and as the seven-time MLA. I mean, he's fought against uh, Naxalites, he's fought against red sandlers, smugglers, uh, ganjai smugglers, and so on and so forth. And it's very unfortunate that he's having, uh, he's having them in his jail. And that's the challenge that we have now in front of us. So we've asked uh, the magistrate to be lenient, given his security constraints. Uh, but unfortunately, that was also turned down today. So we are genuinely worried about his physical safety and that's a concern that we have also expressed to the jailer uh, and to this government. In terms of amenities, uh, he's supposed to get class A amenities uh, given his um, political experience. Unfortunately, that's also not given. Uh, you know, amenities like an air conditioner is not given. There's no hot water uh, for him. So we are going to continue to fight.